first hitter up is Tyler Palmer. Three so far on the day. And the first pitch of Palmer's outside and low. Palmer's got two RBIs today, two RBI singles. Brings him to 17 on the year. He's also got two homers, four doubles, and a triple this season. The 1 0 pitch. Swings and misses. 1 and 1 is the count to Tyler Palmer, left fielder. Now, small sample size, but he is a 588 average, and he is the first batter in the inning. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Not that much. Austin looks to Olszewski. Likes what he sees. Up, oh, steps off the mountain. Like he was stepping into the pitch there, he steps off. Scouts one and one to Tyler Palmer once again. Kane's lead 8 1. You're in the six. That ball's a really nice break. Fans are not real cute on that ball. Austin's got the tough task of facing 2 3 4 in this Kane's lineup this inning. Yep, that has been quite a tough task today as those guys have accounted for uh, yeah, it's been seven of the RBIs. Palmer pops that one, foul, not play. Ooh, very close to hitting some young spectators, but it doesn't. And everyone looks on and all as the ball heads two points to the end. Once again, two and one, or one and two is the count. Tyler Palmer. No out, no one on. First batter. The pitch is low. It bounces and Shesky not quite able to get the handle on. Again, we got a two two count. Mike lost it. Uh, now throwing 30 three. Through, uh, through just one and a third plus. Austin steps. Pitch. That's hit down the right field line. Making a run at it. And he's not going to get there. It's going to be a foul ball. Really good effort by Johnson to get to that. But that is in no, no exact. That is in what usually constitutes my uh, bullpen. And again, two and two. Get Getting Austin's pitch Nothing else. Good hustle by Johnson on that play. He had to go over the mound. That's what the real problem was. And that's a pretty tough thing to do to do that. Look for a ball. I maintain foot and we're moving pretty quickly. Uh, Austin's not able to make a play on that. That ball just barely escapes the reach of Johnson. Austin looks to Olszewski. He stabs. He throws. And that is a call. Third strike. Palmer knew it from the second he saw it, hit the catcher's glove, that he was getting called out on that, and indeed he didn't. Austin's got one away, Kane's got one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That's Willie Abreu, who has had quite a day for himself today, two for two. RBI, walk, and a double. Or, RBI single, rather, walk, and a double. Freshman, he's probably been the most consistent freshman, one of the most consistent players on the Kings. Two more him is along with Zach Collins who's on deck. The two most highly talented guys in this group in the US. That pitch is outside. Uh, I know he's not related to Bobby Bray, but in terms of his power, especially you know, the left side and his gun in right field, really reminds me of the young version of Bobby Bray, who again really is not related to. Very similar style. This pitch from Bray who swings and misses one one, one out. Starting to get a little darker here at Mark Light Field. This beautiful Miami sunset. American flag late in the center. This is all it. Bray steps out. One more. Still haven't seen any pinch hitters, pinch runners, defensive substitutions yet. Swing and miss by Bray. You wonder when, well, the problem with baseball is once you make that sub, you can't go back. So. When do you think Jim Morris will make those changes? Oh, he's he's the, uh, typically, the, the normal substitution is, is moving carry out to right field to having Eusebio come to center. That's typically made no matter what the score, or the score is towards One, the two game. pitches swung on missed, and right was down, swinging. Um, two but, away. Uh, would certainly not be surprised to see some more sub, uh, substitutions here in the seventh and eighth inning. Three usually does wait until the final three innings to make those switches. And in a way you have to, because once you, all it takes is to clear the benches too early one time, 
and no one will ever let you forget it. So I understand the waiting for that, even if they want to leave. First pitch, Zach Collins swung on Kella, 0-1. Uh, you definitely want to give those guys that opportunity to get that experience because you wouldn't really want to be in a situation where you need to go to one of those bench guys, such as Azuna uh, or Hayward, and then not have a good, good deal of uh, reps and in-game experience. Next pitch outside, Collins, 1-1. At that same time, I want to make sure that guys start the year, especially after a team like the Pokemon, uh, so the beat as they play. 1-1, one, one, two outs, Austin the pitch. Collins hits the deep right field, that ball's foul, but that ball was ripped out of the stadium. Foul, well, well, well hit there by Sam Collins. Definitely got some foul over that for freshman catcher. The one two pitch. It's low. Of course, Zach started the season at first base, but uh, compiled a couple of errors over at first. Unable to scoop a couple balls from the left side of the infield, so he's uh, found himself in the DH role and also behind the plate in some midweek games. Two two pitch. Foul. But it'll be interesting to see as his career progresses. A lot of times you see, especially as guys get older into the major leagues, which I think certainly within the reach of Zach Collins. Absolutely. Um, a lot of times catchers do tend to move over to that first base, such as Joe Mauer, especially guys like Joe Mauer. It's probably the last true uh, Buster Posey as well. We'll see what happens there. Superstar catchers. Pitches a ball. 3 2 now. Right now, the two guys behind the plate, aside from Kennedy, are Collins and Carlos Diaz. Colin is certainly the more suitable role for first base of those two. Absolutely. Though we do have Brad Zunica, uh, probably be playing first base at some point in his Miami career. Pitch fell off. Zach Collins won't go down without a fight. 3 2. Uh, it'll, it'll be interesting to see. Again, projected forward. I, I think Collins may, may end up being don't a forget, Don't forget about David Thompson as well. So we wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see Thompson, Thompson at does. first base. Then again, Kennedy is a junior as well. So a lot of question marks for next year. Collins yeah. Roll. yeah. Uh, well, we'll see what Collins' role here for the Canes is. I do think that as his career progresses, should it progress to the highest levels in the major leagues, he'll eventually be moving to first base or DH full time. And our first bench hitter of the game, and here, here he is, Brad Zunica, stepping up to the plate. Big guy, Brad Zunica, standing at 6'6", 255 pounds. Pretty big for a freshman. Pretty big for anyone. Uh, come from there. Standing at 5 pounds, 160 pounds. Uh, but Zunica has certainly shown flashes of uh, his talent this year. Played first. We'll see what they do with him now. He's pitch hitting for his pitch hitting for feet. We'll see. I'll be interesting to see Zunica completely play at first, so we'll probably go to see feet, I think, right? I think, yeah, absolutely. At, uh, at first base, Zunica three, uh, four for 19 on the season. That's another ball. Two and out counts. He's got a double, six strikeouts, a walk, and two RBIs. Two 11 average. Again, very highly talented freshman class. Oh, he, should, he should be in high school right now. He graduated early today. Got all his requirements in. He's, uh, he should be a second semester high school senior. He you know, to the mining program a year early. Yeah, let's see him out there on the field. Yeah. Lefty, big lefty. And this guy's really got promise. Again, look, this, this, this class. That's in there for a strike. Twos across the board once again. This freshman class, obviously Collins and Wright, big names. You can see Zunica step up a little bit too, and I, I think he will uh, as his career at the U unfolds. Bethune Cookman has Brian Ferguson warming up in the bullpen. That pitch is way outside behind the catcher. Calls will walk the second base. Hits the screen. And that is a wild pitch by Michael Austin, and that evens the count out at three and two. Just a little bit outside. Just, just a little bit. Oh, I was over Brad Zunica said that's not no, it's really high. Three two count though. Austin chance to make it right. It's thrown over the pitch, not over twenty five, about twenty five pitches. Three 
two, two outs. Collins on second. Means yet to play run this in. Up to the gate one. That ball is hit to left field. That's going to be foul. Nice contact there by Brad Zunica. Yet to hit his first college home run. Stage finish for fourth minute. That's the double. That's the two ribbies. The two pitch. Awesome. Looks dull shots. He likes what he sees. He stands. He throws. That ball's inside. Ball four. Zunica. What's going on there? Zunica stood there. It looked like he seemed to think that was only 3 2, but Zunica is indeed walk. And that's happened in the past. And for professional collegiate levels, get the count. Uh, but in comes Johnny Ruiz. 0 for 3 so far in the night. Uh, but he does have a nice play at short stopping to, to an early round. He is uh, in 234 this season with a 379 on base percentage on walks. Or the third base and kind of shortstop. First pitch is strike. Count one. Runs on first and second. Again, bottom and six. Miami leads eight to one. And eight hits. Three hooking on this one. Ruiz is a 312 hitter with two outs. So that ball is low. One one. One and one once again is the count. Two outs, bottom six. Ruiz, third base. His average has dipped 16 points today as he's gone over three thus far. That ball is also two and one the count. Again, John Ruiz, Coral Gables, Westminster Christian, a lot much like David Thompson, among others, and Alex Rodriguez, the of this ballpark. All time, all time great. Ruiz hits it to left, making a play on it, and under the ball will be Munoz, and that will do it. 